And this is Morris O'Connor, Governor of the Central Bank, Head Office, PO, 21st of the 10 and 12, 2000, 2006. I must protest and complain to the removal of the sovereign seal of Dolairn from the legal Irish tender bank note by the Central Bank of Ireland and the Department of Finance. It is treason. The Central Bank and the Department of Finance has no right to interfere with the sovereign seal of Dolairn or trespass into the sovereignty of Dolairn. The sovereign seal of Dolairn is still the property of the Irish Republican Brotherhood. The sovereignty comes from the 1916 proclamation and was implemented by my grand uncle Tom McGuire on the 21st of January 1919 in Vaughan's 29 Parnell Square, Dublin. The sovereignty was vested on the same day, 21st of January 1919. And if you didn't know, which you think you'd go and find out? I mean, you know, I mean, if I was president or a judge, to me, then wouldn't I want to know? But, uh, but wouldn't wouldn't you want to know? But uh, where you're getting your authority from? Yeah, I mean, would you want to know about the seeds in these? You know, absolutely. I think just to me, there's a tell there. There's two of them. You were on the job looking for yourself, right? Before. A long time ago. <laughs> But you see, I for the row started the first day. Remember, he was on about the money when we changed over from the euro from the pound to the euro, and he came on and said, "This is the heart on the money." And I rang up and said, "That is not the heart. It's on our heart. The heart is not a legal entity." And he was doing this great <laughs> thing on the. It was the first day, the first of the year, wherever it was, and I said, "That's not the heart." And of course, they let me on, you see, because they didn't know themselves. So the minute anyway, after a while, I was cut off. <laughs> He's never forgiven me since. <laughs> that it wasn't the harp, and he didn't know what it was. Your phone number is probably on some blacklist now. Oh, it is! Didn't you have it <laughs> One says to me, you're not going to get out of any place anyway. And I do, I ring up all the time and complain. And I, I log the complaints and everything. Wow. I was complaining to them. Mm -hmm. In. Well, it's obviously long later. Who's that? Minister McCreevy, the same thing. <laughs> 2002, I'm uh, Wait a minute now. I must protest and complain to the way that the Euro Changeover Board of Ireland has, re has referred to our sovereign seal of Dolair on the Euro coin as a harp. Do you remember I told you? To yeah. <laughs> the Irish Parliament will hold the central bank responsible and accountable and will require detailed accounts of and assets of the Central Bank of Ireland to the 21st, the first decimal we have to change over the money. Since when did the harp uh, become the legal tender on the Irish bank notes and coins? I would like to see the legislation that governs the sovereign seal of Dolairn and the harp, BC. The sovereign seal of Dolairn are based on the design of the old Irish harp, the brand new harp, the Secret Defence, the Fenian Brotherhood, Standard, the Sovereign Seal, on a green background with gold braiding, the green, the gold, the Irish Brown Brother, the Sovereign Seal, and the Party Blue Record, and all. So the harp is the reverse side of the Sovereign Seal, the door there. Used by Guinnesses, that was done deliberately, you know, mm -hmm. to, um, you know to bring it down to the, the lowest form of life, would be the Dreads mm -hmm. Society. Uh, it is a trademark, the Sovereign Seal is on our coins, banknotes. And the sovereignty is on our passports, we enter for the sovereignty. The G is intact of the sovereignty. But just shows you, that's 2002, not a word from anybody. Mm. Or if they only did, as I said, what my father said even in those days, he wouldn't have this crisis all the time. And we're always going to have crises in Ireland. One, one way or the other, until we cop ourselves on and, and learn to, at what we're doing, and watch these awful corrupt people who are robbing the assets of the state and aren't to set up for for these people to rob it, you know? Mm. Which was the 150th anniversary of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, Queen's University commemoration, University of Ulster and Limerick University, RTE refused to commemorate the Irish Republican Brotherhood. I even mentioned they did Cromwell, they did the Great mm. War, and they wouldn't do the Irish. They refused to do it. Isn't there something peculiar about that? Very.
Now we know how we have to have plastic <laughs> there. I said, well, them. Yeah, I had a lovely little Dexter Jersey cow, about that size. Oh, the milk did that which we but uh, that's all. I think in the past now, I'm afraid. Only memory. No, but all that would have gone, it would go, you know, the day I gone, that's the end of that. And all that. I won't. Send me on for now. It won't. <laughs> There'll be enough people picking your brain <laughs> over the next few years. I'd say I'll be the first of many. <laughs> no, no, not the first. But, it, but it, when you when you looked at the in the archive, was there much stuff in it in Mary no, Dark? Very yeah. little. Oh, in her folder. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. I'd say somebody's been through it all and taken all that. I'd say so. And there was, uh, there's no probably from Mary Clark. I heard that that. She'll give anybody any access to that. Yeah, she's very nice. Others, yeah, the others won't. Mm. And you know, all sorts of countries have gone down there to look at where our sovereignty is. Look, 